Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the legendary server. We are back here um, in in Angmar, in, basically in Kandum. We are pretty much in Kandum and we are going to today head on an instance and try and recover Narquil. That looks like it's just not loading in, which is very interesting to look at. Um, before we have a look at our hobby gifts of the day, we did have a quest um, that got added, Baggins' birthday, which is a festival quest. Um, if we ever want to go talk to Frodo Baggins at the last homely house, then uh, we can do that. Maybe we'll do that if we uh, hit a snag anywhere here soon. But for now, we're going to go try and recover Narquil. Uh, we do have our holiday gift of the day and the week. Should have enough space. We all good. 50 virtue experience plus a 5 hope thing, which is going to be somewhat useful for us in the future, I'm sure. And a incomparable gift. So 200 virtue XP and an incomparable Matham Hunter's armor, which uh, I don't think we've had one of those for quite some time. There's one. Uh, but we haven't had much for some time. We should have, yeah, some Virtue Gain experience, which is pretty nice. So we get 20 bonus XP plus 20, uh, plus 5, so 25 total. So, what, you know, 275 in total for that. Let's have a look at what this can potentially give us. Uh, not that we're necessarily going to use it. Um, it's worth looking at, though, something like that. If it comes to it and we're, like, really struggling, that is something I will probably go for just that might increase plus vitality increase of 50 vitality and like you know 46 might is actually pretty damn good um obviously though i kind of want to hold off until we really struggle because knowing me i'm immediately going to get uh this really really like nice new bit of armor probably uh immediately straight after i do that so uh we'll hold off for the moment um incomparable i think rare is not as good if i remember correctly yeah, so not as great, but nonetheless, uh, let's stop dawdling what do you need? and uh, let's go into this. So if we undertake this quest solo, you'll re receive an inspiration boost, but the challenge will be great. We've never really had too much of an issue, but uh, let's see if that changes today. Plagued by terrible dreams in the house of Elrond, Laerdon reveals in his sleep that Amarthiel's ring, Narquil, is being held in the fastness of Barad Durbul. Okay, so... Straight into it. I thought we were going to uh, have someone helping us, but I guess not. Uh, let's get straight into this. We should be all right. We have our um, just all our stuff. Generally, should be all right. I can't really see any issues really occurring today. Just pretty standard play. Um, obviously, we have our increased uh, whatever. Um, everything pretty much damage and uh, incoming damage is reduced as well uh, so we should generally uh, not suffer any anything wrong with us in fact let's actually try and get a few people in uh, kite them in and try and take them out as quickly as possible i really need to re-look at my uh my setup with this. i feel like it's just not as effective because i should be using this Great Cleave, because it um, reduces every AoE attack by one further, so that will last for 30 seconds. So going into battle with that means you can just get more off in one go. Um, using Battle Frenzy, you have to have at least five further, so using Battle Frenzy to get five further, then using that, then using like, you know, this means it costs two instead of three, or one instead of two. Um, it just means everything kind of works a little bit better. Battle Frenzy will eventually get a, um, a decrease in its cooldown, so that's also going to help us out. That will come with our legendary item. But obviously that's a little while off. I mean, we're at level 52. It is level 50. In theory, we could go get it if we wanted to. Um, but there's still a few more quests uh, to go before that. So we will uh, obviously eventually get that. I don't really want to rush into it. We're not really struggling too much right now. It's a nice thing to have, but it's not a requirement for the moment. And I don't want to jump over there and then come back and it feel kind of weird and disconnected. And a lot of inspiration is happening right now, so uh, we're not having issues in that regard. I think it's definitely nice, like, change being a champion because... Obviously, last time I properly did this, at least on video, was uh, with a hunter, 
you know, single targeting enemies and stuff like that. Um, so this is just kind of nice. Like, it, it feels easier because it technically kind of is. Because I'm killing everything technically faster. Because I could only previously attack one at a time. Am I going to take damage? I'm taking damage, but I'm probably regening faster. I think I'm fine. I think I is good. And we should also do exchange of blows as well. That's another thing we should be using as much as possible because obviously that is uh, reflect any 50% of all damage taken for 15 seconds. Um, just gets them a chunk off straight away. It's got what? Minute cooldown? Something like that? Yeah, the uh, minute cooldown. No, 40 second cooldown. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's 40 seconds. Um, obviously, just trying to get these things like going as quickly as possible. Pretty good. Just going to help us. It was Ghostly Illusion. For some reason, I thought it was another player. <laughs> and I got a bit worried, I guess. More confused, I think. But I think this is just it. And then we come through here. There's an ornate chest, which should have... I think a fragment of Narquil. I don't think it is Narquil itself. Or half of Narquil. And Narham. It appears you've been dead for some time. You should give him a proper burial and return to a Gwathrin. Right. You returned just in time. Have I now? I oh yes. Uh, heavy armor. We were going to take that I think it ruins our fate but we get more vitality so I think we were gonna lock that and I was gonna sort of switch over and just see 300 more morale but 5700 oh so we actually get more 5707 We actually get more regen. I guess it's based on your morale as well anyway. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Overall better to go for. I guess I should occasionally get things that aren't fate um, to kind of test out and see that and just uh, look at the stats. You'll automatically travel to Rivendell on the Troll Shores. Ah, this is perfect because we can also go talk to Frodo. <laughs> um, not necessarily going to do that quest uh, particularly, but... It'll be interesting to look at. We also get a new cloak, uh, 74 might, good, vitality increase, agility, and just max morale. Obviously not really worrying about the agility. Right, let's go. Oh, I thought it was going to take me to, like, you know, Elrond's study like it normally does. Okay, at least it gives us a little bit of a chance to just go to um, Frodo. So that'll be good. Saves us a little bit of backtracking, hopefully. We will pop in there just to complete that quest, just to get a little bit more XP. Whether or not we do anything that comes of it is to be seen. Right, Frodo. Hello. Hello. Are you assisting my birthday surprise for Uncle, Uncle Bilbo? Uh, I kind of am, but I'm not. I'm not going back to the Shire. Oops, it is not happening for a little while. Sorry, Frodo. The Shire kind of gives me... A bit of the heebie-jeebies at the moment. Right, let's go talk to Aaron now. Okay. At least we got 5,000 XP out of that. 5,000? 6,000. 6,254. Hope is not in vain. Okay, Narquil has been broken. It's strange indeed. I will right to doubt the enemy has recovered their full strength, but this is something I have not entered my councils before. Now, um, not long before you arrived, Laird awoke from his dark dream. He must be questioned about this, for surely he would have some knowledge of this. He studied the ring Narquil and deeds of Amarthiel more closely than any among the wise. Council of Elf Lords must be called and doom proclaimed. Well, we must decide what will be done with the Ring Narquil. So this is a solo quest. Cannot be completed with a fellowship. Elrond Half-Elven has called a council together to determine the fate of Narquil, the Ring of Amarthiel, and to question Laerdon concerning his former captor.
Interesting indeed. I kind of felt like the awkward person just kind of here, but um, he has now <laughs> run off, I guess. Uh, let's go turn on names. So, uh, Council cannot continue without Leiden. I will speak with you privately in my library. Elrond Half-Elven sent emissaries to Evendim to learn the fate of Leirdan. The search led from Anuminas to Samothbaur and Angmar, where Leirdan was rescued and more was learned of the ring Narhuil. Amarthil's forces now march into the frozen wastes of Forhel, where the heroes of the Free Peoples must follow. Well, isn't that perfect? We are potentially going to Forhel. Always fun. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go for this lovely, exquisite cloak. Not the radiant one. Uh, we're going to go with Might, Vitality, Agility, uh, which I think would, yeah, would be the same one that we previously went with. We don't really care too much about, well, Fate's useful. Agility and Might are, well, Agility obviously for my Hunter originally, and Might even more so for us now. So that's a nice little extra thing. 18,000 experience from that quest. Let's put on that before we forget. Let's see what it looks like. We are a very mismatched player, but uh, definitely this looks a lot better than this. I'm not really a massive fan of this design. A lot of like standard, very, you know, common cloaks uh, kind of have that design uh, in that color. Or I think there's one that's like green and brown. Not, oh, literally this one, I guess. Um, I kind of like this one that I'm wearing. It's all right. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm not quite sure. This is a Blackwalled Cloak. Maybe we should uh, put that on. But I'll think about it. I don't really like the hood. Maybe. I don't know. Um, let us nonetheless Dark days get onto this quest. We're going to talk to Laird and uh, we shall do this. But where he's he? He's in his courses on the first floor. We'll do this and then we'll finish off the day uh, because most likely it's going to take us too far hell now. Yes, this is the room. We had to complete half-truths to get in here so it definitely must be the case. There is a lot of well, not a lot, but there is dread in this room. Uh, I've told the council that Narquil will never be reforged, but I believe my own words may have been hasty. I do not believe now that the power, s the ring sank um, in the ice bear of Farhel. One of the crypts grew new Narquil and its power. I do not think you would allow such an heirloom of my house to sink in the sea. For the reason I return to Farhel and seek the ring. You may attend with me if you wish, and then per perhaps Elrond's concerns will be lessened. Mind my words, traveler. So he wants to talk to Dathi, who is in... Uh, Kalpakota, how we say it in Farakhel, North of Evendim, through the Gate of the North. So we would go all the way up to Farakhel, and we've got to go where? Oh, right there. Okay, so we're going to go to like the starting area. Um, I'm going to leave that for now, though. We're going to head to there in next episode, but for now, uh, we will hold off. Um, I was about to say we've been through Farakhel already. We haven't. That was on. Uh, Arkenstone uh, for the D-Day episode, but it is in recent memory, kinda. Uh, so it was one of the last things I did on the game, but I haven't replayed really since. Um, so we should at least know where everything is, hopefully. That's the plan. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.